Half mark questions from the chapter heredity. Let us go into the questions. The first question appendix is an example for vestigial organ. Give another example for the same. Vestigial organs are the organs which do not have any function in our body but they exist in our body. What are they? Ear pinna, wisdom teeth, nictitating membrane. All these are the examples for vestigial organs in our body. Next question. By removing the tiles of rats, prove that the bodily changes are not inherited by observing their offsprings. Who was the scientist proposed this theory? He was actually the August Weisman. By condemning the Lamarckism, he has proposed and he has proved and proposed this theory. Next question. By observing the finch birds, Charles Darwin proposed the theory of dash, which means that nature only selects or perishes the organisms. That is natural selection. Nature itself selects the organisms whichever cope up with the environment. Next question. Write the correct word in the place of underlined word. When the sperm cell with Y chromosome fuse to form zygote, fuse with the egg cell to form zygote, it develops into what kind of child? Here it is given as girl child. But the answer is boy child. When the sperm cell with Y chromosome fuses with the egg, it forms the boy child. Next question. Match the following. There are two sections. Section A contains Darwin, Lamarck and Wismin. Section B contains rats, finch birds and giraffe. Here, the Darwin is related with the finch bird because in Galapagos Islands, he has observed a lot of finch birds and proposed Darwinism. And Lamarck is related with the giraffe where he has proposed Lamarckism by observing and uh, uh, by hypothesizing the reason behind the elongation of neck of giraffe. And finally, the Weismann, he has done a lot of research on rats and proved that the bodily changes will not be inherited by the next generations. Hence, if you match them, 1 is to B, 2 is to C and 3 is to A. Next question. Find out the mismatched one. There are three matches have been given and um, the first match is law of dominance, Gregor Mendel, natural selection, Weismann, inheritance of acquired characters, Lamarck. So these were the environmentalist or scientist who has proposed these uh, principles or laws. Now let us see law of dominance. Of course, it has been proposed by John Gregor Mendel, whereas inheritance of acquired characters was uh, uh, proposed by Lamarck. But natural selection by Weismann is, is a mismatched one. It is not the right match. Natural selection was proposed by Charles Darwin. Next question. Which group of words are related to analogous organs? Analogous and uh, organs and homologous organs are the evidences for the evolution process. And uh, analogous organs are the organs which structurally um, may be different but uh, they do the same function, structurally different but with the same function, same kind of function. If you observe the group A, four limbs of whale, bat and cheetah, four limbs of these three organisms are structurally same but functionally different. But in the group B, which contains wings of birds and bats, they are structurally different but function is same. So if structurally same and functionally different, they are homologous organs, but where structurally different and functionally same, they are analogous organs. Hence, the right answer is B, wings of birds and bats. Next question, I am the evidence of ancient life forms or ancient habitats which have been preserved by natural processes. Who am I? These are the fossils. Fossils are the uh, evidences of the organisms whatever have lived in ancient days or they may be the habitats. They may be preserved by natural processes in the soil itself. So they are called as fossils. Next question, expand DNA. This is deoxyribonucleic acid. Next question, among these two traits, which one is dominant? There are two traits have been given here. One is with the axial flower position and another one is terminal flower position. Among these two, the axial flowers A with the axial flower position is the dominant trait. Next question. According to Malthus, the population theory says that population growth is to geometric progress progression 
whereas increase in food source is to dash that is arithmetic progression it refers that the population is growing geometrically that is 1 2 4 8 16 32 they are multiplying whereas increase in food source is an arithmetic progression that is just one by one one two three four five six i mean it is growing very slowly so the there is a large difference between the population growth and food source growth <music>